Hours and just home series reaction. This is why American missile system can't be beaten. But you know, unsubscribe clips. Yeah, I mean uh, they are insanely accurate, right? That is one of the things. Like, look, man, when it comes to like information technology and technology in general, right? Uh, computer technology, especially, right? America is the one who like pioneered that, right? They're still leading that, right? Think of any chip maker, like. Uh, in in let's just say in smartphones what is the two biggest companies uh one is qualcomm american right uh and obviously the other one is like apple uh, again american intel american amd american nvidia the biggest of them all surprises people when i say that and then the research they're like oh, wait a minute you're right yeah of course nvidia basically is going to be like insanely powerful in the future nvidia is also american right so there's a reason for that right they are really ahead in that area and that is the core of it right in the core of technology is like basically computer if you have the best technology in computer and like comp better software which of course you would have if you're the best hardware it's very easy to develop the best software you're going to be better at everything right any computer anything requires computation software hardware targeting requires all that it's just basically calculation ai basically if you like perfect the ai which america is doing basically uh, you, you can uh, you know uh, remove the error like let's just say if you're trying to target something and there is like a general let's just say uh, randomly just call it like there is a 1000 points of areas that could be random like we can't really pinpoint that but that's like acceptable thing ai can basically calculate that and like narrow it down to 100 making it even more like precise because computers are just basically it's either this or either that ai is more complex thought like how humans think close to it right so ai is gonna change that as well so yeah american systems are usually really accurate and uh, you can say that in like many different technologies ridiculous technology like i've been watching a lot of videos on that from factories and god knows what about uh, hellfire and this and that right uh, what is that rapid what is that called i forgot the name of that basically you take a lot of missiles put it behind the cargo plane c-130 or something and drop them in general area in like two what is it called like few hundred kilometers diameter and it will just go and hit its target which is insane right you don't even need to be in the range to do that your cargo plane will be in enough range right where cargo plane is safe and then it can basically destroy anything else in like a lot of missiles so it's gonna be interesting let's, let's watch this one apparently this never mind i should, probably shouldn't say that i mean maybe i could i don't know three letter agencies apparently still operate four f-117 nighthawks for the united states military that i didn't know surprising. that yeah we have four of them in our inventory and they're operated by three letter agencies from what i was able to find on the internet. and that's just what's declassified yeah that's well like this is the thing recently we've come up with some shit. all right my missile tism's gonna take off here do it right mm -hmm. no pun intended. we've come up with some and it's just, it's, if anyone else in the world had done this, we'd be like, oh my God. But because it's us, the world's like, okay. Like they, they're just <laughs> so used to us coming up with weird shit. So we took a, a standard missile six, which is a surface to air. Mm -hmm. I think it also has surface to surface capability mm -hmm. out of a vertical launch system on an Aegis fucking destroyer. And we like, yeah, let's put it on the bottom of that F-18. So now we have the AIM-174. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's what? By the way, it's the return of the Phoenix missile. The, the, the yeah. missile can go further than the mm -hmm. F-18 can see with its radar. So the way it's going to work is another plane can lock onto a target that AIM-174 fires oh, from yeah. beyond the horizon. That is so fucking cool. <laughs> it's literally the <laughs> baton race. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, when you think it's terrifying. It's, it's the F-35. So fucking neat. The F-35C will find the bad guys, and the F, uh, F-18 is the bomb truck. That's like, the Oh, hold up there. I can. Oh, I, I'm guessing they're already probably like on the way to like how to. Can we put this in F-35? They're already thinking that I'm guessing because they're doing that a lot with the F-35s. Can we put a nuke on F-35? Yes, we can. Can we put these missiles on F-35? Sure, we can. Like they're trying to figure that shit out already because F-35s can be like really overpowered in this way with their like hive mind, the whatever technology they have, right? Like multiple F-35s can just lock on together and create this kind like, of like a major radar. But yeah, that shit is cool. That is so true about America. Like, they do some insane shit that feels like some, like, 
I don't know, straight out of Star Wars or some, some shit. But people are like, yeah, it's just like America. What are you going to do? It's, it makes sense. Well, any other, imagine if like somebody like suddenly said like any other country in the world is like coming up with that. You'll be like, oh, damn, didn't see that coming. All right. You basically applaud that. But since it's America, like, yeah, 28 trillion uh, GDP and whatever, right? 800 billion military. Sure, they can do that. People just like discard that, right? America, sure, they can do that with that. But doesn't matter. Like, really think about it. Like, ignore all that fact. Like, what they're doing that is insane, right? What the, the frontier of technology they're trying to do is insane. But yeah, it makes sense. America's history of doing that. And three liter agencies. So F-117. Uh, CIA is mostly like intelligence. That's what that's what I is in CIA, right? We think of like James Bond level shit, but that's like overblown. Yes, yeah, sure, they do that shit that type of way. We hear about story all the time. But 90% of them is mostly gathering intelligence. That's the thing is. So why would they use F-117? I don't think it's CIA, right? NSA, maybe. NSA is like kind of bigger than CIA in some like people uh, sometimes get surprised. But yeah, NSA is like how FBI is in federal arm, how FBI is like giant, right? Uh, things fall below an FBI in many places, especially like uh, inter-country things, right? Like secret service and things basically fall below FBI. NSA is kind of like that. It's a, it's a national security agency, but it's like really big, right? CIA is big in its own way and has like autonomy in a lot of places, which which makes them overpowered. But NSA, like anti-terror and things like this fall below their radar, I think. So I can kind of see how they would be using F-117. But as far as I, I, I remember, like they're using that mostly for the practice, right? F-117s are like, uh, like really old technology now compared to the newer things they already have with F-22 and F-35. So they're using that for practice and shit. Missile truck, That's just right? so terrifying. Like you could be chasing an American aircraft and be like, ha ha, and then a telephone pole comes out of the stratosphere and sends you back to your God. Like that's just <laughs> the most terrifying shit. And I then- I hate to fight America. Dude, like, hey, just, I got a guy up here we need to kill. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Look just, how fast uh, that jet's going. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dead. Well, I, you know, I can, I can tell you, I, I have no idea what went through someone's mind when they decided to fight us. I can tell you. Well, <laughs> five, five, six. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, to start, you know. I, there was a, we had, there, I, there was this one guy. I remember he was, uh, uh, j uh, he was Jam. You know, the a little closer. <clears> to you. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. This one guy, he was jam, you know, and uh, he uh, the kid worked in the uh, Iraqi police station, and they were, he was kind of assigned to us as like a little helper boy. Like we'd give him a couple of bucks, and he'd go get ash or you know whatever, you know, bread and cokes and stuff like that. And one time, I, I you know I saw that he was taking down like our bumper numbers on our, our vehicles, you know, and oh, you know Mahdi, yeah, he was jam, Mahdi Army, right? And uh, I was like, dude, you know, you know I, I'm not kind of mad at Beek. I was like, you know, Omar, are you going to kill us today? La, 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 Siddiqui, Bukura, Bukura, tomorrow, tomorrow I would kill you. you. Like, would you like to meet a bear? <laughs> <laughs> but your missiltism. My missiltism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, jumping back to my missiltism. So there's two, two more things. One, uh, this is still in development right now. I just heard about this thing. Never seen a picture of it. I have no idea how it functions. But I don't know if you know, very recently the United States Navy did a, a sink X where they take an old yeah. ship and they're like, we're going to fuck this thing up until it sinks. Yeah. Which is cool. I, I love that we do that. They took a B-2 stealth bomber. By the way, there's two countries in this world, those who use the metric system and those who have stealth bombers. Um, <laughs> so, I think it's alarming anyway. how long we've had them. Yeah, <laughs> I saw the video of like from who, I don't remember exactly, from one of the channels, like they used a stealth bomber to sh uh, sink a, like a aircraft carrier type ship or something, right, a big ship. But that's like insane with a bomber doing that precision shit. My favorite part. Yeah, <laughs> they you know, still work. They almost have a bomber that's c comparable <laughs> to the B two. It's like that shit we had forty eight <laughs> years ago. A fucking <laughs> century. But uh, <coughs> America so does it right. sucks to not have Howard Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> so they drop this bomb, and it's a bomb from a, obviously a stealth bomber. Cool, and they're like fucking fifty thousand feet up. Cool, but it's called a quick sink. And it's literally designed oh, to awesome. fuck up boats, which is a great name. They're awesome. I, I don't know much about it, but apparently it can track down a boat traveling at like 45 knots. So from the stratosphere, a stealth plane can drop a bomb that chases you the fuck down on a boat. 
God bless America. I love that. That's like my, wait, my, wait, okay. Why is it called the quick sink? I'll show you. Well, you don't want a slow <laughs> sink. <laughs> to quickly <laughs> sink. You got plenty of time. <laughs> to quick. Yeah, I think you know people uh, don't realize that any bomb can just sink an aircraft carrier, especially how it's made. It's like a giant thing. Right, so if you bombard the top of it, right, it's not necessarily going to sink it. That's the problem with ship like that. Quick sink is made in a way that it, it acts like a torpedo or something, like hits just below the water, so it just like basically destroys the whole thing and sink it. Right, there's uh, I'm pretty sure that's something like that, which makes it like really complicated but awesome in that way. Like one bomb is enough to you know sink an entire aircraft carrier size ship, doesn't matter what it is, right? So anything you might have on the ocean any big boats and something this quick sink like they'll just fuck you up basically and like if if you can put that in like b2 bomber i'm pretty sure like you can put a lot of them in b2 bomber but that's what bombers are like can carry a lot of loads right so uh yeah this b2 bomber right uh bone i'm pretty sure you can put a lot of them in bone but bone, bone is not stealthy but if you don't need stealth and you put that on bone yeah that would be you have you would have a lot of them but then again whenever you talk about like american navy going against some other navy Usually they're preparing for China. Let's be honest. Only thing that's competing with America in the even close to it is China. And China would have like stealth detecting capability. Not stealth detecting, like detecting capabilities. So you would need something like B2 or something. So that's true. But yeah, that, that, that uh, quick sync is insane. Quickly sync your f***ing boat. That's what it's designed what for. What does it do? Is it like... I have no clue how it works. I don't know shit about it. It's still, from what I read, it's still in development. I don't think it's fully We're out gonna say, Okay, it there's is. a boat in the water. Oh, wow. It broke it's called a back. fucking bomb. That's I would right. assume. <laughs> that, 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 just a it big bomb. It would just bomb. be like some sort of like explosion under the surface that creates a vacuum no, or something. No, it, 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 it destroys. Like, it's under the water already. Like, That's crazy. It, it could oh be reminds me of that thing we did for Mr. Beast with his boat. Watch. I mean, this is... Oh. By the time the smoke but, clears, it's just underwater. My God bless America. I Chase. love it so much. That's amazing. God, make sure to leave cookies and milk out for Raytheon tonight. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> and then the last thing. It's so, so good in bad list. <laughs> <laughs> A missile goes down your chimney. Oh my God. <laughs> That's for the I, bad I boys and talk girls. about the weapon here in <laughs> But yeah. so very recently, uh, we know okay. Iran was playing a game of fuck around, and we, we helped them find out a little bit. We, honestly, it was just a flex. So they fired X amount of drones, like 400 drones and missiles at Israel, right? Yep. And obviously, Uncle Sam was up there just playing fucking whack-a-mole. We were having fun. We were using it on it to just train. That's really what it was for. We just sent up our pilots. We're like, take out as many drones as you can. Whoever comes Every back with the most wins. Every single one of those things was a lifetime of minimum wage taxes. Like, that's what it was. It was just... <laughs> So, but what they did is they, for the first time in history... I don't think it was just practice because lives were at stake, right? If those, those drone did hit something in, basically in Israel or anywhere, like, yeah, people would have died. So they did, did take it seriously, but yeah, they weren't sweating or something. They weren't putting that much effort, like... Uh, they had enough technology and like enough like detecting capabilities and like counter attack capabilities like what is it, like 99% of all drones that were like kind of like counter, which is insane. I believe it's the SM3. I'm almost positive it's the SM3 because the SM2 is like a Patriot kind of and the SM6 is more like a Thad Talon. So the SM3 is designed to go way the fuck up there. So they smoked a missile outside the atmosphere. Now that may just sound like amazing and cool on its own, but like I want to put this in perspective. So when we defend- Outside an, the atmosphere? Yeah, exoatmospheric. It went outside the atmosphere and said, I'm gonna fuck you up out here. You're not hiding from me. That's crazy. It's like from, straight up Iron Giant, I am Superman. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. from a boat at sea level, okay? But the crazy thing is, so most air defense systems, like we work best when we are the target. So like if I'm protecting an airbase, I'm on that airbase. And as the missile comes in, I shoot it as it's coming back down in its terminal phase. Patriot shoots in terminal, Thad mm -hmm. shoots in terminal. So the phase is a flight of a ballistic. Yeah, so I'm pretty, uh, that is what ICBMs are intercontinental. Whenever you words like intercontinental, you know a missile is going through space. It like leaves your atmosphere and then enters it. And at that time, it be basically becomes a ballistic, basically just like, like a bullet, how it works, right? That's what ICBMs are. So yeah, so counter that, like America develops system. How, okay, how do we counter that shit? Like, okay, that is so insane. Like if you really like study physics of it, right? Science behind it, how ICBMs work. That Imagine if like America <laughs> came up with that technology during World War II. 
and what was it like v2 rocket i forgot like v1 v2 what, whatever hitler used to basically right one of the first if not the first icbms right when nazis had it right which just devastated everyone like that everybody was panicking imagine if america came with that shit back then hitler would have just like okay i give up because that's a, that's a weird level of flex like i can counter that shit which basically is a, such a fast bullet it's like if america create a gun that counter gun bullets no not that i'm going to return fire i'm going to stop your bullet before it hits me type of shit that is insane like missile going off on my missile tism is launch boost apogee separation and terminal that's how an average ballistic missile flies at apogee which is its highest which is usually when they're outside the atmosphere depending on the missile um they're also moving the fastest mm -hmm. they have the most amount of energy the navy said Fuck you, I'm gonna kill you when you're your fastest. So now I'm 100%, after seeing that, I'm 100% convinced that the modern US Navy can smoke an SR-71 Blackbird. Just because of that, you can't get high enough and go fast enough for them not to be able to kill you. Which, and anyway, what, I'm pretty sure like, Navy had a lot of missiles that can smoke a Blackbird. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure US Navy had, this, this is to stop ICBM, which is different, which is much faster than SR-71 Blackbird. I'm pretty sure like US Navy already had a Navy and like USA in general already had a lot of missiles that can stop Blackbird easily, right? That's not that fast, right? Three, four mark, that's not fast, right? ICBMs are much faster, insanely faster, and they can stop that. And this is one of the reasons like America is one of the least countries that should be afraid of nukes. People, oh my God, there's nukes. North Korea has nukes. What if they launch nukes? Okay, how many are they going to launch? A thousand? I'm pretty sure America can counter most of them, if not all of them, right? And who's gonna launch a thousand nuke? Who has a thousand nuke? Besides Russia, nobody has that number of nukes. After Russia, it's like China with like four or five hundred, right? So America is one of the countries that's like gonna be safest, right? All that fallout scenarios, I don't believe that. Because America has been, America has always been that kind of a person, like the OCD, on the spectrum type of mentality, like what if everybody kills me, how to counter that? Well, let's think of the worst case scenario. Everybody just walks into Pentagon, that's what they think about. You walk inside the Pentagon and you just, they are all paranoid, right? So they've been thinking about this for decades. So America will have technology that nobody probably knows about. It will basically counter all these nukes and shit because they already thought about it because nuclear threat has been there for multiple decades now. I'm sure they can come up with something that nobody knows about. When we were talking about this a little bit earlier, I am 100% convinced that we absolutely did not need to do that. There's no reason. We, we just did that for practice. We're like, I just want you to fucking know we can. Like, that's the, the amount of just, I'm going to do this because whatever reason. I Like, I love that. When I tell people, like, Patriot is a good system. It's a fucking great system. Aegis is better in every way. Every shape of the... Yeah, I don't want to pause too much, but I think it's safer to take out a missile in space, right? I mean, yeah, you like with the highest energy point, you're basically there. But when you go ballistic, basically, and enter the atmosphere, it, there's a lot of elements that might cause issues. So space is like the sp safest thing. You can do something. So it makes sense. It can do it in space. And it's like, uh, I'm pretty sure like they can take out one in like atmosphere as well. But why do that shit when you can take out from space? which is like you need certain level of technology to basically counter that and that fast. You, I, I, I'm convinced you would need less technology to counter something in, in, uh, in air when it's like entering back in atmosphere, but go all the way to space just to match that and like counter that in space. You would need to have like insanely reactive system, which basically they invented, which is like, okay. Idea, I tell people like the, the easiest way to compare them is, Patriot can see you if you're the size of a softball and about 100 miles away. That's kind of the, the common connotation. Aegis can kill you if you're 190 miles away and the size of a golf ball. And that's 190 in any fucking direction. Horizon to the space station, whatever the fuck you want to be away. Is that by proximity of the explosive? <clears throat> or is uh, it like the actual impact? From launch? Uh, depends on the interceptor. Depends. A, we've had it since the 80s. Yeah. We've had yeah, Aegis I know, since I know it's an old 80s. system. I just don't know if they're considering lethal range like from when the missile explodes in the blast radius or if it's like impact a golf ball. So I believe it would be for that. And I'm also not sure if you're allowed to say. 
Well, I don't I know. They're now we're in that weird territory. I, was like, I don't I don't know for the SM2, 3, and 6 that they still use. I don't know which ones are proximity and which ones are kinetic. So Patriot, like pack twos are proximity, shotgun blast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say this the exact same way. A CW3 said this, I'm not gonna say his name, in front of my entire battalion, okay? Pack three is like some of you boys when you were 15, tip to tip. He said this in front of the whole fucking battalion. It's like the interstellar thing. <laughs> what are you doing? Docking. And pack two is like some of you other boys at 15, uh, tip to explosion. And I was like, fuck. He said this, and I just all of a sudden, like, quietly, like, this man should lose his job immediately. <laughs> but we're like, it is a CW3. This is the Jesus. only podcast for him. We got demonetized. Was it the slurs or the government secrets? <laughs> <laughs> we, we are the, <laughs> legit. We are the war thunder. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say it probably would be slurs, not the. Yeah, that's the worst, worst thing you can do. I'm pretty sure that's how it would go. <laughs> Brought to you by. <laughs> wait, wait. Know. Hey, history. Wait, man. When was that system developed? The, the Aegis combat system was in the eighties. Yeah. Yeah. But so this is the thing. The like, I, that's what makes it more terrifying because it's like that is from the eighties tech with AI and the weapon systems well, coming like, out from that is like it is a killer robot. What is so a killer fun. robot? Yeah, when you really think about it, like multiple decades old. Even I was surprised sometimes. Like, first of all. When I started this channel, I didn't know most of these things, right? I didn't think about military things in the general. I didn't know what the fuck is an F-35, what, what is F-16, how are they any different at all, right? I just didn't know that. But then, like, over time, I, you know, I watched some video, I got surprises. You basically, people know it when I watched those videos and I was surprised constantly. Then I researched it more and more because that's how I am, right? I get in, I, my interest gets peaked and there you go. Uh, when it comes to, like, military tech, it takes decades to develop. So yeah, this is insane that this is four decades old. We're talking about all this. Today, somebody's already probably developing something, like I said in the start of the video, with AI powered, right? Because I can already see application. You have no idea the level of precision you can have with the AI at your hands, basically, right? So something that we might see in like 20, I'm pretty sure in the US calendar, 2030 and around it is seen as like a, a thing to do type of date like a lot of things is planned for 2030 so i can see like in 2030 or something we can or we might not know about it might be a secret or something but something gets launched or something right uh, they might be better than ages and things like that as well because they are like really old the newer technology would be so insane by 2070 we would be still be talking about like how powerful that is and that makes it more terrifying what's so crazy about Aegis. People think Aegis, they think of an Arleigh Burke class destroyer. No, it's the whole fleet yeah. together. So if <clears throat> if Aegis, if an S or a, oh, a great, fucking, we built a hive mind. It pretty much yeah. is. Yeah. So if it decides, so like let's say a radar anywhere in the fleet picks Elon's up a target. Sweating right yeah. Now. yeah. Picks up a target, it can go, cool, I'm gonna kill that target with that boat's missile and fire it. Yeah. Like it it's fucking insane what Aegis can That's do. That's really like Cool. Wait, it's, now it's it, so it will be like, hey, this is the closest boat to yes, this, and I I will just take this. Kind of like what I was saying earlier. It, it's like it's a baton pass of like, like fucking yeah. technology. That's and wild. This, it's doing it while it's moving on the ocean and fighting in hurricanes and shit. Like my radar, if it if it like sinks half an inch, it's like re in place me, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> missile knows where it is because the no. missile knows where it is not. Uh, it knows, but sometimes it doesn't know where the ground is. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, Patriot chased enemy missiles into the ground. And yeah, to me, after seeing all the technology that U.S. come, that's not that cool or surprising to me. Balancing act, right? Gyroscopes and things. Even fucking cameras nowadays, like smartphone cameras, which is like insanely small. If you just do this basically with your phone, someone comes up with a stable image. So stabilizing uh, technology is not that hard to really figure out. Uh, so the strip going up and down however violently military tech i can see like it, it might not be that hard compared to everything else they do so that technology it's not going to be that hard but yeah uh, having that kind of like a high mind type of uh, technology basically doing this is insanely powerful but one problem i see like uh, how much they're dependent on each other what if some enemy takes some part of that fleet would that make it like inoperable after that like nobody can use it because something's destroyed they relied on other thing because there's always like pros and cons to things what is the cons of this or does it just like the, if, if you don't destroy the main centership or mothership whatever and if you destroy something else it will just detect that, that thing is destroyed and will not 
take that as a part of the equation and try to figure things out and compute things. I would think that would be the case. 2003, because it didn't know where the ground was, but now we teach it where the ground is. Oh, allegedly. Is. Oh, yeah, allegedly. <laughs> yeah. We didn't do that. There just happened to be a couple of bankers above the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah, the AEG system is insane. I heard a, a bit about it, like core of it. I haven't seen the full-on detail of it. I, I'll have to find a video, but yeah. Patriot system is awesome. AEG is even better. And like, I'm pretty sure they have something in the works right now. Because the best way to do this is create multiple agencies that just think this this way. And like US has a lot of agencies, also, also like DARPA as well. DARPA is insane itself. DARPA does such a ridiculous shit that people, majors like NASA and everybody else, which, is, which you think of as a frontier thing, uses what DARPA creates, right? Not to mention everyday use that we use. A lot of things comes from DARPA. Like what the fuck? Right, so DARPA does some insane shit. So US has a lot of agencies that hold job and whole budget is to think about okay, whatever technology we have, how to like combine them and use them in certain way. I'm pretty sure they're already basically implementing AI in some way and trying to create a new technology. But yeah, right. Well, if you like my next channel, subscribe and I'll see you next time.